I greet you today in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My dear viewer, thank you for um, joining uh, uh, through this series. I know um, that we have been uh, together um, since when we started uh, these uh, 100 days of prayer. And if you are tuning in for the first time, this is an initiative for uh, the um, church, uh, the worldwide church, uh, where we are seeking the Lord in prayer and we have um, been praying um, for the countries, for our countries. We have been praying for the infilling of the Holy Spirit in the church. We have been praying for our leaders so that uh, as we near the close of the world history, we will be filled with the Holy Spirit. And today, being day 63, we are focusing in pure vision. Remember this week, we have been looking at the Beatitudes and we have been uh, seeing, um, we have been searching in our hearts to see what um, uh, we can do so that we can be in line with Jesus Christ. Our today's texts come from the book of Matthew. We have been looking at the book of Matthew 5. Um, uh, for a good part of this week and today we are looking at the book of Matthew 5 verse 8 Matthew 5 verse 8 I would request you to humble yourself uh, so that we can invoke the Holy Presence to abide with us as we expound on this book shall we pray our kind and loving master in heaven we are grateful and thankful for the today thank you for being with us and thank you for this day that you have blessed us with as we get into the scriptures to read your word, we invoke the Holy Presence to abide with us so that he can be able to uh, interpret the word for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 5 verse 8, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall see God. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall see God. God. I want to um, uh, give a topic or a title to this sharing today and uh, the title that I want us to give it is Pure Vision. Pure Vision. Uh, I know some of us have challenges with, with seeing and some of us are very good in seeing. But scriptures are not speaking of the vision of uh, seeing or uh, using our eyes, but is, 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 is speaking of a heart um, searching um, aspect. And um, uh, the Holy Spirit um, takes the truth uh, concerning God and, his, and, and, and Him who he has asked to um, God and him who he has asked to be with us. And um, the Holy Spirit is the one who helps us and um, uh, helps us to see things in the right way. Uh, the Holy Spirit takes the truth concerning uh, 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 God and him whom he had sent and opens it to the understanding and to the heart. The pure in heart see God in an understanding relationship as their Redeemer and while they discern the purity and loveliness of his character they long to reflect his image they see him as a father longing to embrace a repenting son and their hearts are filled with joy unspeakable and full of glory this is the kind of vision that I, I, I want to introduce to you. The pure vision of seeing Christ as a friend, of seeing Christ as, uh, as, as, as a companion, of seeing Christ as part of your aid. When we are close to him, when we have a special relationship with Christ, we will see what God wants us to see. When we are faithful in our walk with God, he continually opens our eyes to more and more of an understanding of his character, of his love, of his will, and of his beauty. In the realization of his perfect holiness and, of, and, and purity, our Purities come to light and we are invited to receive his cleansing only. And he is the only one who can give us. This cleansing comes as a result of his love. 
This cleansing comes as a result of what he did at Calvary. Jesus came, he died on our stand, and that blood that was shed at Calvary is very fresh to us. And it cleanses us each and every day. Remember, when we confess of our sins, when we go to him in obedience, he cleanses us. In the book of Isaiah, we remember, you remember that he has called us. And when he calls us, he tells us that come, let us reason together. And when we reason together, he says that when you are willing to obey, he will cleanse us of our sins, even if they are led like crimson, no matter what kind of sin that you have committed, no matter how the world perceives you, whether you are a sinful person, whether you are someone who cannot be corrected, God tells you, come. And when we have a conversation with you, when we have a, 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 when, when we, we have a relationship with you, I will cleanse you of your sins. On this side of heaven, we see with the eye of faith. But let me tell you, my dear brethren, one day, and that is very soon, we shall see him face to face. We shall see our Redeemer face to face. Remember Jesus Christ. He, when, before he ascended, he told us that, let our heart not be troubled in the book of John 14. That in my father's house there are many mansions. He went there and he told us there are many mansions in heaven. And one day he promised us that he is coming back to take us where he is. That will be a glorious day when Jesus comes back. That will be a wonderful day. I, I, I long for that day when Jesus will come back to take us home. But until then, why not ask him to cleanse our hearts from all impurity and filth? Why not come back to him, search our hearts and tell him, God, I have not been doing what is in accordance to thy will, but I would, I'm longing to be pure. I'm longing to have my character like you. Let us actively search for an ever clearer vision and understanding of our God and his will. Because the day we will search for that, we will be able to put our motives in line with his. We will be able to have our characters electrified and our characters be like his character. And that is what we should be longing for. Remember that the only thing that we will take in heaven is our characters. If we will not live in accordance to the will of God, we will not see heaven. If we will live in this, uh, in this world with hearts which are not purified, let me tell you, we will not see heaven. If we are thieves in this, in this earth and we will not cleanse our hearts and we will not cleanse ourselves to make ourselves not become pure and to make ourselves not to be thieves, let me tell you, we will not be in heaven. I know people joke a lot that why thieves will not go to heaven is because they will start stealing the, the, the gold that in heaven. <laughs> My brother, it might seem to be a, 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 in a lighter note, but let me say this. If we will not clean our hearts today, it will be very difficult for us to go to heaven. Heaven is meant for those who are pure in heart. Heaven is meant for those who have pure vision, not seeing things which are not in line with Christ. We should ask Jesus to come in our hearts so that he can electrify us, so that he can cleanse our hearts. This day, I would like to invite you so that we can pray for a pure heart, so that we can pray so that we can be freed from sin, we can be cleansed from all our impurities and only then, that when the Son of Man comes, when Jesus comes, we will proclaim us as his sons. He will redeem us from this world. If we do not ask for this, let me tell you that when he comes, he will say that I don't know you. And it will be very painful for you to commit yourself to the church, for you to commit yourself, to, 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 to sacrifice yourself from the things of this world and miss heaven. Let us go to the Lord in prayer and let us go to him so that he can cleanse our hearts. And this is, uh, will be perfect 
when we allow him to come into our hearts, remember, he says that I stand on the door knocking and whoever will open, I will come in and dine with him. The Lord is waiting for you. The Lord is waiting for me so that we can invite him, so that he can purify our hearts, so that we can be like him. Join me in prayer. And as we pray, may we confess of our sins. And as we confess our sins of our sins, let us commit ourselves to him so that he can guide us and he can direct us in all our ways. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving master in heaven, we come before thy throne of grace at this moment. We thank you for the grace and masses that you have bestowed upon our lives. We thank you for the masses that you have bestowed upon our lives because Jehovah, we know that you do not act according to our acts, but you act according to your grace and leashes in glory. We thank you for the love that you have loved us with, the love that pushed you until you sent your only begotten son to come and die for us. What a wonderful love. This moment, Jehovah, I know that you came. We are the one who sinned against you, but you are the one who took an initiative to come to redeem us. We are come before the throne of grace as sinners who are in need of your forgiveness. May you forgive us of all our unrighteousness, Jehovah. May you forgive us of all our sins, Father, and may you make us light. You have called us so that we can have a talk together. And today we have seen that we need you in our midst so that you can purify our, our vision, knowledge of our God, so that you can purify our hearts. And as we continue searching our souls, Jehovah, we ask that may your Holy Spirit be part and parcel of this, that he will, search, he will help us to search our souls and see where we have gone wrong and come back or go back to the crossroads, mend our ways, repent of our sins, and Jehovah be like you. And then that's when we will be ready of, for your second coming. May you purify us and may you continue preparing us for your second coming. Be with my viewer. May you purify his heart or her heart. May you forgive us of all our unrighteousness, O Jehovah God, and make us right with you. And at the end of it, O Jehovah, when the Lord will be called up yonder, may our names be found in that book of life. And when the saints will be marching in, in heaven, O Jehovah God, may we be part of those saints who will be marching and we will be part of them marching in joyously saying that we have uh, been in this world we have had a lot of tribulations but thank god for the victory that we have won thank you for hearing our prayers may you continue being with us and even as we fight this disease covid 19 and the pandemic that have shaken the world may you shield us under your wings and may you be with our governments may you be with the church leadership may you be with the medical staff who are fighting every each and every day with this disease and may you give them wisdom and knowledge that comes from heaven may you be with us and may you continue answering our prayers for we are praying this shortly believing and trusting in that wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ thank you amen thank you so much my dear viewer and may you share this video and continue uh, 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 joining us each and every day and continue praying. Uh, let us continue praying for one another. May God bless you and keep safe.